Hey. Chef Pedro's here. Hey, Chef Pedro Colar here. Of course, to give a taste of what you're expecting this year. This year's culinaria five-game wine and beer run. So we're ready to run, Pedro. Ready, let's run. Right. Oh, the ready. wine and the beer. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's check this out. Let's yeah. run out to the farm because you guys raise a lot of vegetables. This is this yeah. is the best part of this. It's yeah, and that, that's local. actually what ties into the five-k run is the uh, the farm that it's benefiting, the culinaria farm. Is benefited directly from the 5K runs. So that's what makes it, you know, pretty pretty awesome. And farming is great in general. Okay. And so today we're going to be making a delicious roasted cauliflower. Yep. This is straight off our menu at Grays. Oh. Okay. Straight off our menu at Grays. Uh, it's it's a big hit over there, so we thought we'd do it here. Okay. And it's also where we're going to feature at the run. All right. And of course, the run, all the proceeds go to a good cause. Go to the great, go to a great cause. It'll be the Colmenar Farm, which is going to be an educational-based farm with uh, kids and structural events going on there. A bunch of uh, recipes, a bunch of chefs are going to show up there, help the kids out. Now, Pedro, it's going to be pretty fun. You've already seared this cauliflower. I roasted we were, them in the oven. We were talking about this earlier. This does mm -hmm. something to the taste anytime you do that. Yeah, anytime you, you roast any sort of vegetable, it does have its own sugar, its own starches that react with any sort of charring or heat. You know, the difference between us boiled asparagus and a grilled asparagus is, is you know, two different vegetables. Show us what And that's making. what we did here. So uh, this was just uh, olive oil, salt, pepper. Just tossed in a preheated 450 degree oven, pretty hot, so it gets charred, but it doesn't actually overcook. And then all we're doing here is just our, pretty much the dressing that we do there at Gray's. Um, it's a tahini dressing, which is a sesame seed paste, uh, with a little bit of fresh coriander, fresh camino, uh, that we kind of go for more of sort of Moroccan, Middle Eastern feel to it. So that has, that's just like hummus mm -hmm. is what you were telling me. That's it's the main, the it's a main, it's one of the main ingredients in hummus. This and chickpeas would definitely make hummus. So right here, this would just be about, you know, about two cups of uh, cauliflower. This is already, this, the dressing was already made, but anybody could do this at home, either the morning of like any sort of dinner party or the night before for lunch. Pretty good, so you just want to get a pretty good dousing on there. I bet you that's pretty good by itself, Aaron. Yeah, it? Yeah, it, yeah, it pretty much does. And then everything that we do at the restaurant just pretty much just elevates that. Okay. So after this, yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of our famous uh, pre-show uh, lemon. There we go. Yeah, the priest here, Levin, before I test anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm hot. Hot stuff, yeah. Pedro. Hot yeah, stuff. Yeah, so this. So, yeah, if anybody doesn't want to mind uh, trying to get this cauliflower onto that plate exactly the way that one is, oh, here that we would go. be great. I'm Let's try that. Go ahead, Chef Fiona. Right. Yeah, well, just imagine doing, you know, 30, 40 of these a night, and I'm yelling at you trying to get it out quickly. Wow. So just imagine that. Well, I mean, you know, the best things in life, <laughs> or they have to marinate, so this yeah, can take definitely. a while. Yep. That's a very large plate of cauliflower. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but we like having our portions ample. We like people being happy and full and everything. So <laughs> I love how you just yeah. toss a bowl over it. Gra Grace itself is <laughs> all about that. Can't you tell? Yeah, you're the a chef. Right. You're a chef. Yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't do this as often. It's more everybody else. All right, so let's get this together. You might have me that olive oil. What am I doing? This is just regular, um, just really good olive oil. You just want to use crappy olive oil and everything. We're just going to toss all that in there. I think you should use these little little spiny tweezers, that's what I think. Gigantic tweezers. Just a little good sea salt. Yeah, the surgeon. There we go. There we go. So this is just uh, the add-on for the top because you need color, you need freshness, you need some more acidity. Ah. And then, again, mm. with our famous seared lemon. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have had you do that one too. Oh, see, and it looks so pretty on the plate. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one just came out. You know where it's going to look even prettier? Yeah, a little black sesame for Where's the fork? Where are the forks? We have so many yeah. spoons because of the we ice cream, but, yeah, give me but one. no oh, okay. There's spoons more spoons. Here's some, some little pretty Can spoons. Can I interest you here. in some tweezers? Well, yeah, go for it. Try that. Yeah, just that kind of looks medical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Yeah, so like I said, this is on our lunch menu. It's on our dinner menu. Uh -huh. We also have a, a brunch this Sunday that's coming up Sunday. Last week was our first brunch. It went pretty successfully, so we're really happy about that. But yeah, you can get this anytime, along really with good. our other stuff. I can see that it would be very filling yeah. as well. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. And it, it's a completely vegetarian, vegan dish. And and we also have like a bunch of tons of meat that we really concentrate on. We do do our own, our own briskets, our own pork bellies there, along with, you know, the more healthy, the more vegan type stuff. Why so did we you have a good mix. when you said pork belly? I don't understand. <laughs> we got it. That's the list. <laughs> People want it, we got it. Yeah, yeah, that's it, man. <laughs> the Culinaria 5K Wine and Beer Run is happening Saturday, March 19th from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the shops at La Cantera. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com.